I'm Caitlin Brodnick, and I have chosen to go through with a double mastectomy, preventative double mastectomy. Today is six days until the surgery. It is very scary. scary. Are you okay? Um, yeah, I know. The scars are gonna be large. They're gonna be from here to here. I'm just super nervous. I'm biting all my nails, and I'm counting the days now. Shirt. So this one I thought would be good. For I can just now. put it over my shirt. Okay. So it doesn't fit now, but well imagine none of this. <laughs> it's cute. It's adorable if you're in the right. 70s. <laughs> I can put little fake nipples in here. There you go. And then Let's wear a sweater. <laughs> I wonder if he does needlepoint. <laughs> when we do a risk-reducing mastectomy, which is how we tend to, to speak of it because we're not doing the mastectomy for treatment, we're doing it for prevention. For all intents and purposes, it is the same mastectomy that we do for treatment. So you remove all of the breast tissue as much as you can, and then you follow through with the reconstruction. That's not kale. Oh, what did you that It sounds like your doctors are have you well prepared for what's going to happen. They do, and it's, they're very, it's very simple to them. I think the only thing that's out of the norm is that I'm doing it so young. Mm -hmm. But it's all, it's all very simple. You know, they're, yeah. they're sort of like enjoying the fact that I, I'm doing it preventatively. I'm doing right. it this young. They just keep being like, you're going to heal so quickly. You're going to handle yeah. things so well. Because like, you're not like a 65-year-old lady. I saw Elle's sister die of the disease. And my first thought was, no, no, you are, you are jumping the gun on this. You you can't do this. You, I, I'm embarrassed to say now, but it was like, you can't mutilate your beautiful body. This is hard stuff. And But I didn't say any of that. Most of the studies do show that if women make the decision on their own to do the surgery, they're less likely to regret that decision because it's such a body changing, image changing, um, surgery that that you have to be comfortable with a decision like that. Our breast cancer memory is really negative and scary. I just have to keep saying, it's not that, it's not that, it's... Scary. <laughs> That's the thing, like, it brings up all these feelings. You have different perspective on it, you know, so you have some person that comes to you and is weeping, and she's like, you'll treasure breasts, and I'm like, these things? Okay. And one person's like, get it, girl, f*** cancer, you're the queen, so, you know. Well, you just... have a great attitude about it, though. A lot of women yeah. don't. It's Watch the, the not video. knowing. It's the not knowing. It's so hard. I think with this whole surgery, it's not like it's just occurring to me that breast cancer could kill me one day, and I'm having this sort of, like, crazy emotional response to it, I've always been sort of haunted by it and I've always been afraid it was going to sneak up on me and I was always afraid it was going to take like my sister or like a family member so it's just always been there and I just like your sister does not have the gene no but it's like it's just very scary <coughs> and so <laughs> I've seen it take away the people I've loved the most so that's stupid I don't want to I'm not stupid how was that stupid? I don't know. <laughs> it just took away everybody, every, everybody I loved. I don't want to deal with this fear anymore. I'm done with it. And I'm done with my family having to deal with it. And I'm taking control of it on my time frame. You know, somebody could say to me, we think you should do it later in life. No, I'm sorry. I'm doing it now. I need to do it now. If you know exactly what this is, they'll yeah. give it to you in the hospital. Yeah. 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 Well, you guys are going to take off in a minute or two, right? Yes. You have I the address? I have it. Hope there's nothing important in your book. What was that, honey? It's my insurance approval. Good. Oh, good yeah. thing you just ripped it in half. <laughs> Mass septomy, simple and complete breast reconstruction. The service code. It's, it's the authorization from the insurance yeah, company that you. Yeah. That it's covered. Yeah. Yes. 
Okay. So still, let's get some tape. I'll buy some tape when I'm out. Yeah, you, your long. job is to get tape. We can also photocopy it. So is there anything else you need? I have your meds here. Okay, yeah, let's go. Yeah, I'm just reading Okay, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. Okay, girl. I don't know what's going to be on. It's real Let's go. Okay, no I love hugging. I love hugging. No, I'm just Say goodbye to mom's boobs. Oh, there's a cat down there. Okay, we're going to 67th in York. I'm super nauseous. <laughs> I'm really nervous. And um, I just can't stop thinking about it. She wants to get this going on. Six twenty. I'm scared to go. I am. So, Caitlin, we're just going to take a, just a couple quick minutes before we go in in a little bit. Oh, um, just, do you have any questions for me? Um, I just. And now I'm just. Oh, I'm just. Because now we're not doing the epidural. Will there uh -huh. be a lot of pain afterwards? I don't think so. I think for this kind of surgery, it's pretty quick. Okay. And you'll probably be home late tomorrow, so okay. I don't really think you'll have much pain. So <clears throat> the surgery will happen sometime this morning. Yeah. And then you'll go into the recovery room. You stay there for a couple hours, and you go up to the room. Mm -hmm. okay. And then we'll see you later, okay. and then you'll go home later tomorrow. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so I'm going to just walk you back to the room. Okay, okay. Can I say hi to them? Really? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Let me see if we can. Um, uh, we'll bring them in. Okay, so, so we're going to. Uh, and then we'll take her. It's like a shooting pain from her shoulder to her chest. It went faster than they thought. You know, she couldn't breathe because of the bra and the bandages on her chest. Sure.